So today we're going to talk about multi-spec application. Multi-spec is a great way to update your kitchen countertop, vanity, tile, and even floors with a stone look without the stone cost. And it's a very simple process. Uh, the first step in the process is to mask everything off. So you want to make sure when you're masking, you cover everything that you don't want multi-spec to get onto. So the next step in the process is to clean the countertop. Here I'm using the uh, top coat tub and tile cleaner. You want to use this straight up out of the container. Don't mix it with any water. So the next step in the process is to scuff the countertop. I'm using a, an orbital sander with 80 grit uh, sandpaper. You can use uh, 220, 320. Uh, I like to use the 80 grit because it, it scuffs it up a little bit better and a little bit faster. All right, so the next step in the process is to make any repairs if necessary. An example, in this countertop here, there's a big giant chip missing. Um, it could be a cigarette burn or whatever, but uh, that would be the next step in the process is to make any repairs. Here I'm using a uh, two-part uh, filler, it's called icing. It does require a hardener. any caulking make sure that you use a caulk that uh, number one dries fast and is paintable uh, remember you cannot paint over the top of silicone so if there's silicone in you know this this line right here where the uh, the horizontal and the vertical uh, backsplash is you need to take that silicone out and replace it with something that's paintable and again use something that's fast drying and paintable if the caulking is not completely dry when you go to paint the primer and the multi-spec on it, uh, as the caulking dries, it shrinks and um, it'll open up to these you know crazy-looking spiderweb cracks that you, you'll it'll stick out like a sore thumb. So make sure you put something in there that's that dries fast. Once you're done making your repairs and caulking if necessary, uh, do a final wipe with acetone. All right, so the next step in the process is to apply your epoxy primer base coat. Uh, for this example, I'm going to use uh, a pure white epoxy and um, Rocky Road Multispec. If you ever have any questions in regards to what color uh, epoxy goes with the multispec that you're using, um, you can go with a pure white epoxy for everything that you do. You just got to make sure that you cover it really, really well. 
um, or um, we have matched colors for specific multi-spec colors. And you can download that chart from our uh, website at topcoat.com. So this here is a uh, multi-spec primer color uh, chart. It tells you what color multi-spec and what color primer to use with that multi-spec for best results. Also on the website at topcoat.com is a downloadable multi-spec brochure. We carry all of the uh, colors, uh, the watercolors, and the stone accents. Uh, there are uh, two colors in this that we don't carry, and that's the natural linen, uh, which is a discontinued color, and the amarillo yellow, because nobody ever buys it. So uh, these charts are on the website. You can download them. They're in high definition, so you can show your customers if you want to. And again, uh, we have the uh, multi-spec primer color chart for you to go by. Um, you know, whichever color multi-spec you're using, it tells you what color primer to use. Um, all you gotta do is call us and, and I can guide you on ordering that color. So the next step uh, is to apply the epoxy primer. The epoxy primer, it's identifiable by the 2000 epoxy primer on the jug and the catalyst, uh, 2000 epoxy primer catalyst to go with it. Uh, this product is mixed at a 4 to 1 mix ratio. So we're going to go four parts of the base to one part catalyst. Make sure that you shape this epoxy up really, really well. It, it has a tendency to settle. Sometimes you got to stick a stick in the container to get some of the solids up from the bottom. But um, make sure you shake it up really well. And again, it's a 4 to 1 mix ratio. For this countertop here, it's not going to take a whole lot of epoxy to cover. Um, and by the way, you only want to put enough uh, epoxy to get your coverage. You can do it in one coat, uh, you can do it in two light coats, but don't go really heavy with the epoxy. Um, you want to go as thin as possible, um, just enough to get your coverage to the point where you can't see uh, the substrate that it's sitting on. And once you achieve that, you're done. You can shoot the, the epoxy with the same uh, spray gun that you use to spray your tub paint um, and everything else. So uh, the projector set or the air cap set that I have on here is a 1.5 millimeter, which is the standard uh, air cap set that comes with the Fuji spray gun. Now because this is an epoxy, uh, you really should, once you mix it, let it induct for about 15 or 20 minutes. Um, you can go right to spraying with it, but for best results, because it is an epoxy, you might as well just let it induct uh, for that 15 or 20 minutes.
Remember, only spray enough epoxy on the countertop to get your coverage. You're not trying to go for any heavy build, just, just enough to get your coverage. Again, you can do that in one light coat or one coat or two coats. Uh, just make sure they're light coats, just enough to get your coverage. Okay, so the next step in the application is applying your multi-spec. Before you dip any of the multi-spec out, get a stick in there and stir it up. Guys, in regards to multi-spec, one thing about multi-spec is it is temperature sensitive. Do not let this stuff freeze. If it freezes, it's toast. It's no good anymore. You have to throw it away. So store this in a place that it won't freeze during the winter months. Very important. If you're using the PPS system, make sure that you take the screen out of the lid or else it won't be able to fit through that screen. Also, here's another uh, tip too. If the multi-spec is a little thicker than usual, I like to add just a little bit of denatured alcohol to it. Don't add more than say about 5% of the denatured alcohol. You could add water, but the denatured alcohol is going to be a little bit better. That will just loosen it up a bit for you. Now to shoot the multi-spec, I have to use a different size projector set than the one that we spray the epoxy and the tub paint and uh, you know the countertop gloss. Um, the projector set on that gun is a 1.5 millimeter. The projector set that I'm going to use to spray the multi-spec is a 2.0 millimeter. You really don't want to go with anything less than a 2.0 millimeter, but uh, the one that I'm using is a 2.0 millimeter. And it's advisable to use a dedicated gun just for the multi-spec. And the reason being is that you're shoot shooting solvent-based coatings out of one gun and you're shooting a water-based coating out of a, out of a different gun. You, you don't want to shoot water-based coatings out of your solvent-based uh, gun and vice versa. You can, but it just, it's more um, labor intensive to clean it uh, in between. So it's easy just to get your dedicated multi-spec gun 
and shoot with that, rinse it out with water, and then shoot everything else from your, your solvent base gun. The first coat of multi-spec that I put on is just a sheer coat. It's just enough to, to get some coverage, and then I'm gonna let it dry for about 10, 15 minutes. Make sure that you always test out your, your gun on cardboard or something before you actually spray the countertop. You can move a little bit slower on the second coat uh, to make sure you get your coverage. Um, and also, you can go the opposite direction uh, that you went on the first coat. That way, you get a little bit more of a consistent finish. Once you're done spraying your multi-spec, put some air on it for about 30 to 40 minutes. Uh, give it some time to dry before you apply the clear coat. So the last step in the process is to apply your clear coat. And we've got two types of clear coat uh, that you can buy. We've got high gloss and satin. I advise most of uh, the people that I, that I train in this business to use satin, only because satin uh, hides really, really well. High gloss shows every little detail. It looks good at first, but then it starts looking bad over time with scratches and scuffs and everything else, and the satin doesn't uh, show that. And here I have uh, top coats uh, 280 low VOC uh, glaze uh, in satin. Uh, make sure you shake this up really, really well. You'll notice when you open up the container, it looks gray, and that gray uh, material is nothing more than flattening agent. So if you open it up and it's not crystal clear, it's the flattening agent, and that's okay. The mix ratio for this is four to one. So four parts base, one part activator. And then you can reduce as necessary 
In this case, I'm going to go four to one to one. So four parts glaze, one part activator, and one part reducer. Apply a clear coat using the same spray gun that you shoot your tub glaze with. This one's equipped with a 1.5 millimeter. And you want to spray three to four regular coats just like you would on your bathtub and make sure that you dry for a couple minutes with determined air in between coats.
multi-spec process. Uh, for any questions in regards to the application of multi-spec, uh, give us a call at 888-867-5683, or you can visit us on the web at www.talkcoat.com, and that's T-O-P-K-O-T-E.com. I also want to let you know that if you are interested in the business of refinishing, uh, whether it's bathtubs, tile, or countertops, we have one of the best training programs in the industry. Um, if you're interested, uh, the cost for the uh, class is 650 and we do include two nights accommodations hotel. Uh, it's a really good, a great program. Uh, the class size is limited uh, to a small number, so you're going to get really good hands-on training. So if you're in, in this, interested in the business of refinishing, give us a call. Um, I'd be more than happy to work with you. But uh, again, if you have any questions, give us a call 888-867-5683 or visit us on the web at www.topcoat.com. Thank you for watching.